what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find the value of x for which 4 to the x times 4 to the x is equal to 48. well our first step will be for us to apply the law of indices which says when i have a to the m times a to the n this is equal to a to the m plus n so we're going to be applying this law of indices here now making this expression to be 4 to the x plus x equal to 48 now this becomes 4 to the x plus x is actually 2x equal to 48. Our next step would be for us to take the log of both sides. So on the left, I'll take the log of 4 to the 2x equal to, on the right, I'll take the log of 48. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm to the left hand side. The law of logarithm which says when I have log a to the n, this is same as n log a. That means what I have on the left can now be written as 2x log 4. Very good. Equal to log 48 now our next step would be for us to divide both sides by log 4 so i'll divide the left hand side by log 4 i'll also divide the right hand side by log 4. now notice that log 4 can cancel out log 4 from the left leaving behind 2x to be equal to now on the right i have log 48 all over log 4. Now we all know that 48 is same as 16 times 3. So that means we have 2x to be equal to log 48 which is same as 16 times 3 all over log 4. Now our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm to what we have on the numerator. The law of logarithm which says when I have the log of m times n, this is equal to the log of m plus the log of n. So we're going to be applying this here. So we have 2x to be equal to, this expression now becomes log 16 plus log 3 all over log 4. Now our next step would be for us to separate the fraction. So we have 2x to be equal to log 16 all over log 4 plus log 3 all over log 4 very good so this becomes 2x equal to log 16 is same as 2 to the fourth all over log 4 is same as 2 squared plus log 3 all over log 4 is 2 squared. Very good. Now our next step will be for us to apply the law of logarithm which says when I have the log of a to the n, this is equal to n log a. So let's apply that to wherever we have exponents. 
So this is 2x equal to this expression now becomes 4 log 2 all over the denominator now becomes 2 log 2 plus this is log 3 all over this expression now becomes 2 log 2. Very good. Now notice that log 2 can cancel out and then 4 divided by 2 I'm going to be having 2 from here. So this becomes 2x equal to 2 plus now I'm going to be shifting this to the side that means this is like saying this is 1 all over 2 so this is 1 all over 2 then times log 3 over log 2 very good now since we're looking for x I'm going to be dividing through by 2 so I'll divide the left hand side which is 2x by 2 this is equal to I'll divide this 2 by 2 plus then I have 1 all over 2 here times log 3 over 2 remember I'm also going to be dividing this by 2 which is multiplying the denominator by 2 it's the same thing now notice that 2 can cancel out from here leaving behind x to be equal to 2 divided by 2 I'm going to be having 1 from here plus now this is 1 all over 2 times 2 is 4 so this is 1 all over 4 times log 3 all over log 2 now the final part to our solution is for us to apply the change of base of logarithm which says when I have log m divided by log m this is equal to the log of m base n so we're going to be applying this change of base to what we have here so we have the value of x to now be 1 plus 1 all over 4 now this expression now becomes log m okay that's log 3 sorry log 3 base 2 that's it and this is our final answer well we can check if our answer is correct so let's check the authenticity of our answer check recall that the question gave us 4 to the x times 4 to the x to be equal to 48 so I'm going to be relying on the left hand side because we want to prove if we're going to be having 48 so what is x so this is 4 to the x the value of x we got is 1 plus 1 over 4 log 3 base 2 times 4 to the x the value of x is 1 plus 1 over 4 log 3 base 2 very good so we are going to see if we're going to be having 48 so let's see if we have 48 now according to the law of logarithm of indices rather which says when I have a to the n okay m times a to the n this is same as a to the m plus n so let's apply this law here so this becomes 4 to the now we're going to be adding up the powers which is the exponent so this is 1 plus 1 all over 4 log 3 base 2 plus 1 plus 1 all over 4 log 3 base 2 so adding like terms we have 4 now 1 plus 1 is 2 and then 1 over 4 log 3 base 2 plus 1 over 4 log 3 base 2 is actually let me write plus here is actually 2 of 1 over 4 
log 3 base 2. Very good. So we want to see if we're going to be having 48. Now notice that 2 divided by 2 here, 1. 2 divided by 2 here is 2. So we have 4 to the 2 plus. Now here we have 1 over 2. So 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. So let's see if we're going to be having 48. Actually, we can bring back the law of logarithm indices rather. Once again, which says when I have a to the m plus n, this is same as a to the m times a to the n. So let's apply that here. So this expression now becomes 4 squared times 4 to the 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. Let's see if we're going to be having 48. Now 4 squared is 16 times 4 can be simplified as 2 squared. And this is raised to the 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. Let's see if we're going to be having 48. Now, according to indices, powers multiply, which means these two can cancel out these two. So we have 16 times 2 to the, what is remaining here is log 3 base 2. Is this going to give us 48? Now, let's watch. In order to answer that question, we're going to be applying the law of logarithm here, which says when I have a to the log of b base a, this is equal to b. That means as long as the base here and the base here are the same, the number becomes the answer. So that means as we see the base here 2 is the same as the base here, that means we're going to be picking out 3. So this becomes 16 times 3. And actually, 16 times 3 is 48. And there you have it. So our answer is very much correct. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.